Hello there boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, it is Patrick here, Eggnog Poker, and today we have got um, 50 now uh, on, uh, where are we today, we're on ACR, on Blitz Poker, so uh, carrying on with our 2 and L to 200 and L series, so we are carrying on where we did with 25, moving on to 50, I was asked to do some um, info, uh, well some info, I was asked to do some uh, content on some various different sites uh, like Triple Eight, Party, ACR, etc. So I thought, okay, that's fair enough, we'll do 50L on um, ACR today. So uh, I have absolutely no idea how ACR runs, it'll be interesting and a bit of a laugh and hopefully some fun and profitable session, so we'll get straight into the action. Again, as always, just before we start, thank you so much to everybody who's been liking, commenting, um, joining the Discord, having a look on Twitch, um, everything else, any kind of support that everyone's been throwing at me, thank you so much. Again, very quickly, if you haven't already subscribed and you like the content, just very quickly, just go ahead and press the subscribe and the like button for me. Leave a comment, it makes a massive difference to the algorithm. Anyway, jargon out, this, out of the way, let's begin. Uh, I played one hand where I managed to have trip kings and got absolutely zero value, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. Um... Right, I've got no hotkeys or anything set up, so I'm clicking all over the place. We'll be folding the deuce. And the jack deuce. I can already see how this session's going to go. And the 9-7. I think at least playing 50 now, we're going to be able to get in some kind of um, shenanigans. So hopefully we can get into some interesting spots. We're going to start with uh, a raise here with the ace-8 suited. We are mostly folding with some 4-betting. We're going to fold this time. Everyone's in the massive tank. Come on. Lysinia. We'll be voting versus the cutoff. We'll be mixing some three betting and folding versus the button. And then we'll be doing a bunch of mostly calling and some three betting against the small blind. We'll be folding this against the cutoff. Can we add on? How are we not adding? Automatically adding on. That's a bit annoying. Uh, I would like to add on, please. Can I do that? Maintain the top up. Uh, up to the uh, 100 big blinds, that would be good, I think. Apply, okay, excellent. Perfect. Following my 8 5 and the King 7. Oh my goodness, this is how I can already see this is going to be one of those sessions. I'm going to spend about nine months folding. We'll be defending the Queen Jack, sometimes three bedding if we uh, folds around to us. Going to be folding. 9-7 suited. We could be opening this one. Get a small blind call. But Mr. Basketball Head. <laughs> Well, then second pair on a monotone board. Not super thrilled. It's one of those way ahead, way behind spots. This is always pretty tricky with multiple people. I think I'm probably just going to be checking back, trying to realize some turns. Getting check raised kind of sucks. It's hard to get value from worse than this, so I don't think we're going to be folding out two people very, very often. Let's check and try and realize. Kind of in check fold mode, uh, unfortunately. I'm going to be folding that one. Oh, and this is very, very weak and not very easy to play multi way, unfortunately. Ace check of speeds. That's a pretty good hand. Let's have a look. Uh, 224. Let's, let's get some more money in the pot there. Ace check suited. We would like some more, please, dealer. We'll be calling a full bet. He's in the tank, Mr. 96. We do get 4-bet, and we have an easy call. Do flop second pair, so unfortunately we're not going anywhere in a 4-bet pot. We'll be calling. Really hoping for a check. A check would be nice. Cannot be folding the turn. If 
there was a river we could potentially get away from, it actually is this one. The villain could rep Ace Queen pretty well. It's hard for villain to find bluffs on this river. Oh, shouldn't really be jamming Ace King though. I suppose you could jam Ace King. Mm. People just always fucking have it, don't they? This is a pretty good catcher though. We do block jacks, we block aces, we block ace king, we block ace queen. <laughs> yeah. Hey, nice. I'm not gonna lie, I was very close to folding that one. Holding the four five and the queen seven and the ten deuce and the jack five. <laughs> Folding, 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 folding. I was actually planning on um, doing 25 uh, and L zoom on. Well, zoom is in speed poker on um, on ACR as well, the blitz. But um, I haven't managed to find. Uh, what was I going to say? Um, there aren't any game. I'm going to fold 10 seven to a min. Um, there's no like. The, it's really weird because the 10 and L pool plays on here, and then the 25 just it just doesn't exist, and then the 50 and L runs. I don't understand. Like it's almost like it's like it's like twenty five is just completely been wiped off the face of the planet, which is really odd. But well, it is what it is. Queen seven of clubs. I'm gonna be opening this one up. Can we open two point three? We can't. Let's go two point four. Not that it makes really a tremendous amount of difference. We'll be folding if we get 3-bet with this one. Not the best board, not the worst board. Um, we do have some backdoors, and we have some playability. I uh, suppose we could get some hands that are better to fold. I, I, I would think we could probably do either, to be honest. Let's go ahead and bet the turn. Oh, sorry, the bet the flop and see some turns. I don't think a small bet is very good. I think sort of half pot, two-thirds is better. Against the big balloon, I don't mind if we get raised. Obviously, we fold. If we can fold out, like... King seven of diamonds, we can fold out like ace three of clubs, whatnot. It's always a good thing. And we've got obviously some back doors and whatnot. Um Pocket Kings, it's a good hand. Probably gonna be raising this one up. Three bit squeeze would be nice. Lol quads. <laughs> We'll be three betting. Hoping to get four bet, but we don't. We don't like the A side board. We don't um because we're big blind UTG, we are very polarized here. We don't just have like we're basically really, really good hands and really, really bad hands, so we don't have to um see bet everything is what I'm saying. Like we can absolutely just have like five, six of clubs here. We can have a set of aces, we can have ace king, we can have the whole bunch, we can be up and down, we can be all over the place with our hands. Uh we have a very easy just call on the flop. Obviously, we're not capped here either. We're still beating a bunch of hands. We can just beat like Jack Ten of Hearts, for example. Checking. Probably have to call the turn. We like the fact that villain checks back at least. So now we're in absolute showdown mode. We're not going to get any value from our hand. What I'm probably going to do is check and then decide whether I want to either call or turn my hand into a bluff on the river. I think a hand as strong as this probably would be a call slash fold. Interesting that villain's calling a three bit with King Nine suited. I suppose it probably is in there actually deep, to be honest. It's probably not a it's probably not fair to shit on people, is it? Uh it's a bit thin, but it's probably in there deep. Well, we're on a roll. We've got Ace King now. I'm gonna size up a little bit because we're a little bit deeper. Got waffled. <laughs> Let's change our avatar. We're happy. Ooh, we've got good hands as well. We're on a roll. We're playing good. We're running good. Can't really complain. There you go. We're a happy alien. <laughs> I like the I like the avatars on this. You can't beat the angry egg, of course, but uh, a pretty happy alien will suffice. We could do so a little bit of four betting, and I think maybe a tiny bit of call if we did get three bet there by the big blind. Actually, I think if we're only four betting in the cutoff, I think we're more likely to call on the button. 
I would think something like that. Queen Deuce of Hearts, just a little bit too uh, too thin for a cut off open. Uh, we're going to be doing 15 minutes in this one, guys. I've been uh, recommended to do 15 to 20 minute segments rather than like 30 to 40 minutes. Uh, we can call, we can three about the King Nine. Let's call this time. Interesting spot, I suppose, if Villain does bet. We're hoping for a check back. We do have King High in a battle straight draw, but I think with no spade against large, uh, I'm going to fold. I think if I had like King Nine there with like the King of Spades, I think I'd be floating. Maybe some raise. So obviously, King High is going to be good a decent amount of time versus the button, but versus a large side with no spade, I think we're probably going to pitch it. Turn an officer fold. And is the jack four. And five seven. <laughs> Queen ten can be an open. If we're allowed to, that is. Uh, I'll be folding. Be very easy to fold with the five deuce. And the four deuce. And the king four. Someone said to me the other day, they were like, where's the rest of your body gone? I'm where I, I usually wear a neck warmer. So that's where my neck disappears to. <laughs> I don't, I'm not just a floating head. Folding the four, five. This is so boring, playing one table and folding everything. King seven will be a fold versus UTG. Oh my goodness. We're fast and furious with the hands we do play, but and then we just fold everything in between. Jack three, we do a decent amount of three betting with some call against the small blind. Mr. Player 96, our arch nemesis, who tried to bluff us last time. I just realized you four bet us with ace eight. That's pretty sick. Easy fold, Jack Deuce. And the queen seven. <laughs> and the queen seven again. It's quite funny, actually, when you play one table, you realize how many hands you actually sort of tend to fold. Uh, it's not a pure open, but we'll open it for the video with 5-6 suited. We are mostly folding to a uh, 3-bet. You don't open this very often, um, as long as you know. So we are very deep, and this villain has decided to choose quite a small size. Uh, he should really be going like 13 and a half or so, but we are quite deep. It's, it's not like awful, but uh, against that kind of size, I'm never folding. Not deep anyway as well. Should really be going like between sort of 13, 14, but whatnot. Who cares? We have an easy call with the flush draw. I think on a paired board with one of the lowest flush draws I get here with, I'm a little bit distance, and the fact that I'm in position, I think I'm more incentivized to just call. We will potentially be doing some folding, depending on villain size. Um, facing check, we could absolutely bet here. We could absolutely check. I can have nines. I can have king, queen. I can have king, jack, king, ten. I could sometimes have queens. I can have like ace, queen. I can have loads of value hands, and I can also check. It doesn't really matter. Um, I'm going to take my free card, I think, this time. Or do I want to bet? Actually, no. To be fair, if I was going to bluff, I'd prefer to bluff my lowest flush draws. So let's go ahead and bet, I suppose. Um... I suppose somewhere around half pot's good, considering at a nut disadvantage. Well, we're going to have to bluff because we got six high. So now we're going to try and target villains like pocket tens, pocket jacks, um, maybe something like queen jack, queen ten from villain. We got six high, so we have to bluff. We can easily have a king here. I don't think I want to jam. I think I just want to pick a nice value sizing. I think like around 60% would be nice. Let's go with that. And we get it through. Happy days. Happy, happy days. Folding the jack seven. Hmm, this is interesting. It actually tells you how many pots you've won, hands down, everything. That's quite cool. Uh, we are calling and have some three. Milf lover 69. <laughs> Absolute hero. Uh, we can call him free bet the, the, the queen free suit. <laughs> so I'm just... These names... There was someone on PokerStars called GigaChad69. And you've got someone here called MilfLover69. It's like... <laughs> proper Chad names. Oh, no, don't overbet, bro. 
Overbetting can absolutely be a thing. It's really tilting, though. Oh, uh, do I just fold directly? This is where I think, like, 100 bigs, we kind of just fold directly to this size. Uh, with some raise. Uh, I'm going to fold, I think, to overbet. Oh, I'm not actually sure there. It's because we're deeper. I'm really not sure what I'm supposed to do there deep. I think I'm... Because the thing is, I'm not really... I'm at a massive disadvantage. I mean, I'm obviously at a massive nut disadvantage. Uh, calling doesn't really seem too thrilled. Like, doesn't seem too amazing. If anything, I'd rather re-raise and try and rep a straight and maybe get some fold equity, but... Hmm. I might have to look at that one actually deep. I'm going to fold my king five. Seems kind of shitty to give up an open ender to one bet, though, I suppose. Maybe I'm supposed to call, call slash raise the flop. Maybe I'm not supposed to fold. Uh, I'm fall on this on the cutoff. Any backseaters, go and check that one out and let me know. I think I'm supposed to probably continue pure one way or another. Maybe there's some fold, but uh, probably is quite a bad fold. Maybe, who knows. Uh, we'll play just one or two more quick hands and then we'll be done. Because we're just over 15 minutes. Folding the 10-6. There you go. Ace-Queen will be our last hand. Against Mr. Sukuf. We will be three-betting this. 2.3. So small, bro. So small. Ooh. So, blind on blind, uh, ranges are wider, far wider. <laughs> can have like queen six off here, for example. So we don't have to just pure bet these. We can have some checks as well as bets. I don't really mind. I'll start with the bet this time. Anywhere between sort of 25 and 50% is fine. Checking is also completely fine with like, it's just like we hit this board quite hard um, on, a nut dis on a nut advantage. So tend to be betting a little bit more aggressively, but we do do a tremendous amount of checking here with ace queen as well. 10 is not the greatest card. I think we just want to go to showdown now. See if we can get to a river. Getting check raised would be a bit of a disaster. It's a little bit annoying to block hands like Queen Jack as well. Let's see what villain does. I would think he most likely bets something like 9s and 8s for value. And then he's obviously got King X and 10X. We do block some flushes, but we also block a couple of bluffs. I suppose sevens have also improved. Battle flushes have also improved. I'm going to fold this one. I think blocking Queen Jack is a little bit annoying. Uh, so I'm probably just going to let it go. Right then, guys. We are up $70.27. We're rich. It's been fun. And I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye.